This, this is, is Real Life, life Teens. Welcome to Real Life Teens. In today's episode, we're going to talk about smoking. We'll see how common tobacco use is among teenagers. We'll give you tips on how to quit smoking. We'll give you a realistic overview on the effects of tobacco. And you'll learn how addicting smoking can be. You're also going to learn how to get help if you need it. Let's deal with teens and smoking. People that, that are smoking are trying to send out signals about themselves like, look, I can do this and you can't. It's almost maybe sometimes a rebel thing or just... Teens may choose to start smoking due to peer pressure or personal reasons. I've never really been pressured into anything. It's more as if, if I'm going to do it, it's because I want to. It doesn't have anything to do with what other people say or what other people might think. It wasn't like my friends were sitting around me going, oh, try it, try it. It was just an inner thing. Like, it was just, it was just inside of me and it was just myself. In today's episode of Real Life Teens, we're going to discuss teen smoking. I have so many friends who started smoking just because they have, if you have one cool person, that's a way into a group. And if they say, here, here, let's go, let's go have a smoke across the street or something. If you're so intimidated by them, you'll do it anyway. There are over 4,000 chemical compounds in tobacco smoke, including 40 which are known cancer-causing agents. Tobacco is a massive health risk for both users and secondhand sufferers of tobacco smoke. Chances are you know someone whose life has been taken by tobacco use. My grandfather, unfortunately, he smoked, you know, from the time he was a teenager until he found out that he was diagnosed with cancer in three places, the brain, the pancreas, and the lungs, and he lasted about six months, and then he died. Tobacco is a plant. The leaves are harvested, then dried, processed, and packaged in an endless variety of cigarettes, cigars, pipe tobacco, chewing tobacco, and snuff. Each of these forms of tobacco have one mission, to deliver addictive chemicals to a user's central nervous system. Does this sound more like we're talking about drugs than smoking? Well, we are. 